Hello and welcome everybody to another StarCraft 2 cast by Glitch. Today I'm bringing to you a ZVT on Taldarim Altar. Spawning here in the top right corner as the Blue Zerg, we have Slayer's Golden. Spawning here in the bottom right corner as the Red Terran, his opponent today is going to be Int Oasis. Into Oasis is actually not a player I know anything about. I was looking online to try to see if he's ever played in any major tournaments or anything like that. Have, wasn't able to find any kind of information on him, but he did get matched up against Slayer's Golden uh, on the ladder, so he's got to be at least uh, a Grandmaster player. Golden, of course, um, an excellent player from Team Slayers. I believe he's in Code A, I think. I think that's what I remember. I think I looked him up earlier, and he is in Code A, if I recall correctly. So, uh, of course, he is an excellent player, uh, one of the players that is not a Terran from the team Slayers. Slayers was founded by Boxer, so of course a lot of the members, I think about half of the members on Slayers, uh, are Terran players, and uh, the rest are, of course, Protoss and Zerg. So, uh, the, I expect the ZVT style of uh, Golden here to actually be quite on point just because so many of his players are really really high tier Terran players then uh, a lot of the team members will practice with each other very very often so Golden has to be used to dealing with a lot of very high level Terran play so I imagine his EVT is quite good and so we are going to be taking a little bit of a look at his EVT in today's matchup. So far here, looks like Oasis has gone for a uh, quick barracks, is just now throwing up a gas geyser, expect that factory to be coming down pretty shortly, and Golden has gone for a fast hatchery, it looks like that was actually a 16 hatchery, I think if I am not mistaken, so actually going for a very, very late hatchery. And uh, looks like there's actually a little bit of banter going on here between the, these two players, and uh, looks like a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of crap talking there going on between these two players. But of course we don't really care about that too much. All we care about is the excellent, excellent StarCraft 2 play between these two players. I'm going to speed up this replay just a tad, which I've been doing more and more lately, just because uh, a lot of times these early games can be a little bit dry, and a lot of times people will actually just skip through replays and just kind of skip to the mid-game anyway, just because they want to see the big fights here. So, uh, and, and because uh, I have 15 minute limits on all my videos, so I tend to do uh, a little bit shorter of uh, games by speeding them up just a little bit. Get a little bit of shorter games going on here for people to watch for your ease of watching here. So we do have a, a spawning pool and a gas geyser that have now gone down for Golden. Looks like he's going to continue to be macroing up just a little bit. We do have an SCV out. This is the second SCV now moving into the base of Golden. Wants to know exactly what Golden is doing and Golden is telling him to get out. And uh, Oasis, in the meantime, just now throwing down his command center. He has thrown down a barracks and a factory. Factory now uh, working on getting out those Hellions. I don't think Blue Flame was researched yet. I could have missed it, uh, but I don't think, I think that he built a barracks, threw a reactor down on it, swapped that factory on it, and now has two Hellions coming out. These Hellions have the potential to deal a lot of damage here, as uh, Golden does not yet have his Zergling speed up. His Zergling speed is only halfway completed, and checking out the unit counting station, we can see that only four Zerglings are currently on the map, as well as two Queens, so uh, they are going to be able to repel two Hellions all right, but if... Uh, Oasis starts to produce too many more Hellions, then uh, it will definitely be a little bit tricky for Golden to be able to deal with that. We do see, though, that Oasis has swapped his factory back onto this tech lab, is now getting ready to start producing siege tanks and uh, Marines in heavy numbers. I kind of actually like this style here from Oasis, where he produces those couple of quick Hellions there on that reactor, swaps back, so that he's now going to be heavily producing uh, Marines and siege tanks actually quite quickly and he'll be able to gain a, quite a bit of map control against zerg players this early in the game with these two hellions as the early game uh, zerglings and uh, well I guess just zerglings are not able to deal that well with those hellions so he can maintain quite a bit of map control uh, with just those two hellions zerglings now moving around the map for golden looks like he's going to be moving in poking around trying to see if he can't deal 
a little bit of damage here. Always like to see this from those Zerg players moving around the map with those Zerglings. As a Zerg player, you always want to be as active as you can. And oh no, they managed to trap the Hellions. Oasis, a little bit of miscontrol there. And you didn't see those Zerglings coming on the map despite being on that Zelnaga Watchtower. Instantly loses those two Zerglings and instantly loses all of his map control. There is one bunker here, but these Zerglings are going to run right by. And it looks like they are able can, going to be able to pick off that Siege Tank. And uh, yes, indeed, the Siege Tank goes does go down. Only two Zerglings are left, but they are going to move around the base, get to see uh, a lot of the production structures. For Oasis has now scouted that a factory, second factory, has gone down. Nice pick off there by Golden. Excellent move there. Able to pick off that one Siege Tank. Siege Tank, uh, Siege Mode, not yet uh, being researched yet, but he was able to scout that this factory has gone down, and uh, I think he even saw that that tech lab yeah, that, that tech lab was building on that factory. He's going to know now that heavy siege tank play is going to be coming from Oasis. He saw the reactor barracks, so he knows exactly what Oasis is going to be going for. Oasis, I'd like to note his building placement here, however. This building placement is so good from Oasis. He's put down this bunker here, and he's throwing down these supply depots here to cut off this attack path so that now if any Zerglings are going to attempt to go by, they're going to have to run all the way around this path here to get to these uh, workers, and that means they're going to have to run around this bunker and take a lot of damage on the way. If we check out the Harvester count right now, we can see that Golden doing what Zerg players should be doing, getting up a lot of early drones, spending a lot of larvae getting those drones up. 40 Harvesters right now to the third. 34 of Oasis. Just now throwing down a macro hatchery in his base. Roach Warren is down. Uh, he knows his opponent's going for that heavy siege tank play. So this is a little bit of an older style, actually, from Zerg players. Um, I'm starting to see more frequently a lot of Zerg players starting to just forget about Roaches completely when they see their opponent going for that uh, heavy siege tank and uh, marine play just because uh, marine, uh, just plain old lings and banelings can deal quite well with it, uh, if you use all of your gas to devote to higher tech units like uh, mutas or infestors, then uh, zerglings and banelings can actually do quite well at cleaning up the marines. So uh, it look, I'm starting to see a lot less use of those roaches. We do see an attack force here moving out from Oasis. This is going to be a fairly uh, difficult attack to deal with for uh, Oasis, uh, for Golden at this point. A lot of roaches here on the watchtower, able to see that attack force coming, and he is now going to be pulling back, and I expect producing a lot of zerglings to be able to deal with this. He doesn't want to overproduce on those roaches, because those roaches, they do fire rather slowly, and we are seeing a bunker here go down from Oasis. Looks like he's going to be trying to fortify this position as best he can. He's going to be using this barracks to scout, and we do notice on the production tab that Blue Flame Hellion, as well as three Hellions, are on the way. We are now seeing a lot of Hellions now move across the map to deal with these zerglings. Big tech switch here from Oasis, like this style very much. I actually like it quite a bit. Um, that's actually quite nice there, but looks like Golden is going to be moving in here, trying to clean this up as much as possible. He has Marines surrounding those Hellions, so that those Hellions can just roast the heck out of those Zergs, but it looks like Golden is going to be able to clean this up with these Roaches, able to deal a lot of damage with those Roaches. Those Blue Flame Hellions are not going to be able to do any kind of damage to these uh, Roaches, as they do not get that attack bonus that they enjoy from that Blue Flame Hellion upgrade, which does extra damage to light units, which is actually, I think, going to get nerfed in the next pack. They are going to reduce the damage that those Blue Flame Hellions do, um, which I'm kind of on the fence about. To be honest, um, uh, th those Blue Flame Hellions, uh, yes, while they did do very, very well uh, in a couple of tournaments, actually, those Hellions actually get trapped there. Nice little pickoff there by Golden. A little bit of miscontrol there by Oasis. I don't know why he chose to move into the base there with all those Zerglings chasing him, but uh, able to lose all of his Hellions there. Not the best of uh, trades there for Oasis. So Oasis is not actually in the best of spots right now. His attack did, uh, they have failed. He's managed to lose quite a few Hellions carelessly. Carelessly. Currently sitting at 66 food to the 96 food of Golden. Golden macroing like a boss. Just now about to take his third base. Fully saturated on the two bases that he is currently on. Just now getting up a lot more gas geysers. Looks like he's going to start uh, to go into some heavy uh, roach link production as he is sitting on three hatcheries right now. Uh, one evolution chamber is up. He has researched that plus one uh, ranged attack upgrade. He has plus one carapace on the way. No Roach Speed yet, though. We don't yet have Roach Speed Lair just now being researched. That is a pretty late Lair there. But considering the good position that Golden is in right now, um, I think he's quite happy to just be sitting back, macroing up some units to be able to defend against any kind of pushes that come from Oasis and uh, just get that third base up and running quite well. 
Oasis does have a barracks that he is now scouting across the map with. This is always an interesting play. Uh, I don't think I'm ever, ever going to get used to the fact that Terran players use their buildings to scout. I don't know if this was done in Brood War. Um, I've said this before, but uh, I definitely was... Uh, I played a lot of Brood War, but it was kind of as when Brood War first came out. I think I was like 12 years old at the time, and I played a ton of Brood War from like, I don't know, 12 to 14, and then I did not get at all into the competitive scene, so I never got to see that really, really high level of Brood War style play. And I actually heard that there are actually still a lot of players that still play Brood War, a lot of very, very famous players still playing Brood War, uh, that some people are kind of debating whether they'll actually be moving over into StarCraft 2, because if they do, uh, well, Brood War just took a crazy amount of uh, micro and a crazy amount of APM to be able to play it. Just because you can only fit 12 units into one hotkey group, uh, you would have to, to hotkey an army, you would have to have an army hotkey to like six hotkeys as opposed to just having one massive hotkey or two hotkeys, one for slow units and one for fast units, as a lot of StarCraft players uh, use as their control groups. So uh, a lot of players are actually curious to see what would happen if a lot of those Brood War players started playing StarCraft 2. Um, a lot of those Brood War players are pretty stubborn, though, on their... Uh, on their Brood War and like to stick in that Brood War. Big push here coming out from Oasis right now. I really should be focusing back on this game as there is a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of Siege Tanks now moving up for Oasis. This is going to be very, very difficult actually considering the units Golden uh, has right now. He has a lot of Roaches here, some Banelings, and he is going to be moving out here. Mistake though, says Golden. I don't know whether he's referring to his own play or uh, moving out with these Siege Tanks here, but all these drones are now being forced to pull off the line. Golden now taking his fourth base, trying to move around here, trying to get to a good position. He's going to need to control this very well. These Hellions are going to have to be very, very careful. He's going to need to use, uh, Oasis is going to need to be using these Hellions to try to take out those Banelings before they're able to connect with all the Marines uh, and use these Marines to uh, spread them out so that they don't take too much damage from those Banelings. All these Roach is now moving in. Those Hellions caught kind of out of position there. They need to not be taking too many damage and Caught way too far here, out of position again. Bad unit positioning actually here from Oasis as uh, all those Zerglings and Bailings were able to slip in here and deal a lot of damage to those siege tanks. All the forces of uh, Oasis actually falling rather quickly. I'm actually kind of surprised at how small of an army Golden had. He didn't quite have the army he needed to fully deal with that, but because Oasis didn't quite control his units as well as he really could have, uh, then uh, Golden was able to actually clean that up quite nicely. Uh, those Hellions were just a little too far out, engaged with those Roaches for just a little bit too long, and now all these Zerglings and Banelings are now moving in, going to be able to clean up that attack quite nicely. Interesting move here by Oasis. We actually have an engineering bay here planted on this little high ground by the Zelnago Tower. I'm not entirely sure why he did that, but... Uh, one uh, plus four Oasis, he was able to take out this hatchery, so not uh, the worst trade in the world, but uh, Oasis definitely lost a lot of forces, and Golden is sitting in a good place right now as he is on uh, at 119 food. He does have this new expansion up, so he is going to be fully mining on three bases. He's going to be retaking that and mining on four bases to the current three bases of Oasis. Oasis continuing to go for that heavy factory style of play, just now adding a fifth factory. He's got uh, two factories constantly producing Hellions and two constantly producing Siege tanks, so this is going to be a very, very heavy mech style of play from Oasis. One Thor is out on the field, but uh, we're not seeing any mutas actually yet from uh, Golden, so it looks like Golden is happy to be sitting on that Roachling. He does have that Spire out, but he's uh, sitting quite happily on this Roachling to be able to deal with this mech. Not a bad uh, place to be there for Golden. He needs to be very careful of these Hellions, though. These Hellions are able to roast those Banelings quite quickly. Nice burrow there, and yes, able to take out one Hellion. Didn't quite get uh, as many as one player would like to get, but was able to get quite a bit, and Oasis pushing out once again, sieging up on the low ground. He is loving this little position. Uh, we will see, though, whether he's going to be able to control this just a little bit better. Uh, as I was saying, the first time he's definitely shouldn't have been engaging those roaches with those hellions and when he pulled back he pulled back to all the way down here leaving his siege tanks out here to just get surrounded by zerglings not the best positioning there for oasis looks like he's going to be trying to move in here again be aggressive once again and try to deal more damage he's actually doing a very good job of macroing taking another base right now and uh, is actually 
Just now, supply blocked Golden, meaning he just took the lead in the food count. 148 food to 144 for Oasis in such a good position. And you know what, guys? I just realized that I'm about to run over 15 minutes, so I'm going to need to split this into part two. So we are going to go into part two right now, and we are going to see the conclusion of this exciting game in just a moment.